Good morning. I am here at the Anacortes Community Forest and today I have with me Marion Willow and both of the corgis and today we are doing a loop here that is going to take us by Whistle Lake and to summit two of the small hills here, Little Round Top and Sugar Cube. These are part of a small challenge around here and Anacortes is where we have the nice weather. It is March fourth today so we are going to be looking for some early signs of spring in the forest. We've got some blue sky and some clouds today um, so it should be a really beautiful trail and we're looking at just under five miles round trip with about 700 feet of elevation gain but the puppies have been in the car for a little while to get here and they are wanting to get on this trail so we're gonna get going. This is probably the largest old growth tree I've seen in these forests so far. This is just massive. I've said it before already, but the trees by the ocean look the coolest. Look at this thing. Well, these leaf buds certainly count as an early sign of spring. Well, it definitely sounds like spring. The juncos are tweeting away. Getting ready for nesting season. So we have this giant tree that fell down. This is the root system that came up with it. But look here, this is like exposed rock. This just tore up the earth when it fell. Crazy. Thank you, Plane, for ruining the audio. But yeah, you don't. We had some crazy storms this winter. My God, these, that is just gigantic. Oh my gosh.
Well, this unassuming little patch of trail is the top of Little Round Top, the first of the little hills. Now, um, we're going to be continuing on to Sugar Cube, which is another one. It's a little bit taller, and when we passed it earlier, it looked like it had a slightly more open summit, but this is actually quite beautiful. Just look at the way the moss is lining the trail. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so right past the higher point, actually, I think this is technically a slightly higher point for a little round top that I was just saying. Um, there's this little exposed area where there's a beautiful little madrona tree and everything. And um, oh, somebody made a peace sign. I was thinking that was something a little bit darker, more, more cryptic, but. This is reminding me of Peak 666 Summit. Look at all the, look at this assortment of moss here. Man. I don't know what kind of moss. This bright green stuff, I don't know what kind this is, but it is so pretty. Okay, well, this is the high point on Sugar Cube. Once again, just a patch on the trail. And we are now gonna get to head back down and see Whistle Lake on our way out. I caught a glimpse of it on the way in. It looks really pretty, but yes, this is beautiful and mossy. And over there is kind of the high, high point, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trample everything, especially with the dogs to go over there, but quite beautiful up here. I gotta say, once these trails narrow out, they've been so cute. Like Anacortes Community Forest for Moss Line Trails, top, top tier, fantastic. Um, but yeah, Sugar Cube checked off the list. And I guess I'll mention one of the reasons um, we came back here. First of all, Anacortes Community Forest, beautiful, beautiful trails and Mary wanted to come see and enjoy them as well. But also, I became aware of something called the Fidalgo Island Five Peak Challenge, which is the island of where Anacortes is. And man, Peakery is a really dangerous website for me. You tell me there's a challenge, man, it, it's a dangerous website. Anytime I feel something, it'll be like, you started this challenge, I'll be like, okay. So that bird that's circling, I don't know if this is coming out on camera, that is a turkey vulture. Oh yeah, you can't see him through the trees. 
He is just circling and down there is Whistle Lake. And this is actually, I thought this was gonna just be kind of like a pond, given what I've seen of the rest of these forest lands, but this is like a really nice lake and there's some steep cliffs kind of. So pretty. Looking out here, this right here is Cullen Island, small island in the middle of Whistle Lake. And I have to say, Whistle Lake definitely exceeded my expectations. Absolutely beautiful. So pretty, and that's just like a nice rocky little island. So cool. There's no way that's coming out, but. There's a cormorant on one of the branches in the water there. Kind of. Kind of hard to see, but he's there. He's looking for fish. Okay, so right there on a branch in the water, there's a cormorant. just reconnected with the main trail that's taking us out to the parking lot. And I have to say, this trip and this loop that I made definitely exceeded my expectations. Um, both little hills were quite nice, but I think the highlight has to be Whistle Lake. Whistle Lake is beautiful, such a fun place. It looks like you can do, there's a boat launch and people swim and jump off the cliffs and stuff, but really pretty lake. I was expecting it to be a bit more marshy and stuff, but just so pretty and fantastic weather today. It is definitely starting to feel like spring. Saw some birds. Puppies, what did you think? Angel, did you like it? I think Angel liked it. Willow, Willow, did you have fun? Yes, no, don't drink mud water. Mary, what did you think? I thought it was really cool. I wasn't expecting to see the lake, but it was really pretty. Yeah, I think, man, I think honestly, like of all the things we saw today, come and see Whistle Lake in the Anacortes Community Forest. That's definitely um, really, really pretty. It's got some cool rocky cliffs with the moss and everything, but that's the other thing I'll say about these, the Anacortes Community Forest trails is the moss, very nice, very mossy. And it's just a lot of different varieties that I don't see on a lot of inland trails as much. So I think that these trails, they're, they're not like, you know, the craziest with any insane views or anything, but beautiful forest. And I think that they're kind of unique as far as like their appearance and what you'll see here. Also a lot of good wildlife. I'm sure if you waited by the lake, you'd see lots of birds and stuff. So fantastic trail we're just clocking in at about five miles 
total. And yeah, looking forward to some more pre-spring and early spring trails. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to follow more adventures on trail here in Washington State. Thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy!